Hello, it's June 2014. This is a current prototype of the Neotype portable typing project. My name is Paul Baudet, and I build typing devices. My idea for Neotype is to build a more human typing device. And what I mean by that is something that is easier to figure out, uh, something that doesn't take two months to learn how to touch type. Um, and when you get to that proficiency point, it feels comfortable, it feels like something that you're efficient with. What I have today just to demonstrate some functionality um, and it's helping me learn the ergonomics of you know building a keyer type device. So what I have here is a backspace, just remove that T there, then T S W I E, A, and then a space. So those are just your most common keys. Now you can also, if I remove all of that, press combinations of keys, like these two right here, you'll get R, and these two right here, you'll get H, and so on. And with this type of arrangement, you can get all the keys, and you can also get special symbols if I want zero, zero. There we go. So I can get all the characters. I'm working on tabs and special uh, non-printable type of keys also. That's in the works right now. Um, but that is the basic functionality. One of the more interesting aspects of this particular prototype is the fact that on these buttons, at least the, the letter-based buttons, there are pager motors, and these are little vibratory motors that allow for feedback. Not only to reinforce what you're typing, but to display the keys. So if I hold down on the H here, it will start to display all the keys for me. Oh, I gotta hold down on it long enough. So if you can hear that, it's vibrating the keys out to you. It's demonstrating each one of the keys. A couple of them are broken right now. I need to fix that. Uh, pager motors have very small little wires that um, that are easy to break from there. Little solder connections. Um, as it goes through, I'll also explain that... Um, I'll explain the hardware a little bit. So right over here we have the spark cord. There's a Wi-Fi chip on there and there's a, a uh, an arm chip. That's where all the brains of this are. And oh god, it's, it's getting a little loud. Despite it being two pager motors down, it's it still delivers quite the punch. I will also mention that all of these are PWM controlled. So you can control the intensity of what you're getting. Um, and that's something I'm looking to add right now. You kind of have to change it in the code, but later on you'll be able to, you know, press in a special command that says change intensity, and then you'll be able to type the intensity you want in there, and voila, it will it will work at that rate. Um, to get caps, I didn't mention before, but you hold down on a key, and you can get a capital letter. And if you didn't want a key, you're just sort of exploring, you can wait till it disappears. And if you let go, when it disappears in the transition point between the lowercase and the uppercase, it'll say, well, I didn't really want that. So you can kind of use that as a hint when you're feeling your way around. Um, this is wireless through this e Blue Fruit Easy Key. So using Bluetooth. Uh, and then over here under this, you see a little, that's a Darlington array. That's simply driving all the pager motors because driving them directly from the spark core would probably burn it out. Um, anyways, I just wanted to keep this short. It's just an update of what's going on with the project. If you have any questions, please reach out. With that said, you know, this prototype, this is a prototype for the Neotype project. And I'm Paul Baudet. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.